Hey guys, and welcome back to another brand new video. Yes, I know I'm supposed to talk about Chainsaw Man manga right now, but I haven't actually prepared a script, so I'm just going to delay it to somewhere around next week. But since Netflix has recently just released the one and only um, anime original movie, Bubble, and which is on the 28th of April, I watched it one day after the release, and man, I'm quite disappointed with the movie. Not saying that it is bad, so here is my non-spoiler um, review on the movie itself. So please enjoy. Alright, so first of all, let me just tell you guys why I'm quite disappointed with the movie. So the team that is working on the movie is the OG team of Attack on Titan. The director himself is the director of the previous season. Yes, the season 1 to season 3 of Attack on Titan. The main composer of this movie is also the main composer of season 1 to season 3 of Attack on Titan. Yuki Kaji is also on the list of the voice actor of this movie and also the writer of this movie is the one and only Gen Urobuchi the same person that written Madoka Magic and also um what is it again psychopath movie and it is to say that this person is very very popular of um, dark and those type of you know content but after watching this one particular movie which is bubble um the expectation, maybe I'm just expecting too much because of the team itself, but the expectation doesn't really reach. I mean like, my expectation was quite high because well, the movie has quite a dream team, but I don't think it really lives up to the hype. Like I was really hyped for this one particular movie. And it's just that, oh, right, just finished watching it it's an okay type of movie. So my main problem with the movie is probably the way they actually presented the story and also the story itself. It's not really attracting the attention that much. Maybe it's just, it's just me or something. Maybe it's just that I don't like this type of story, blah, 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 blah. Probably that, not very sure. But it's just that it didn't really catch my attention to look forward into more of this movie. Like after watching the movie, I'm just like, oh, okay, it finally ends. It's like, it's finally the end of the movie. It's something that is quite weird. Every time I watch a movie, some, uh, I mean, anime movie, such as Your Name, Kimi no Nawa, um, probably Mugen Train as well, I've always said that, oh, damn, this is a great movie. This is a nice movie. They actually presented it quite well. But for this one particular movie, I don't really feel the same way. I mean, like, I mean, I know Uta and also um, Hibiki's story was like that and you know, the way they actually presented it, it was not my cup, I guess. Probably it's just that. But man, the animation was great, as expected from the Attack on Titan team, the OG Attack on Titan team. It's not really mind-blowing type of animation, it's just that, oh, it's the old Attack on Titan team and they are back making this great animation. It just feels nostalgic. And also, the OST, the original soundtrack that is made by Hiroyuki Sawano himself, really give off the Attack on Titan vibe. Especially the instrument that has been used in the movie. It really gives off Attack on Titan vibe, well expected from Hiroyuki Sawano himself. And the voice actors, every single one did a great job, a great performance. It's just that the story, the way they actually presented it, it didn't really catch my attention or it's just not my type of movie. But I need to give my props to the makeup team of this movie. It's so incredible. You guys have already probably watched Vivi Flirt's Eye Song, right? Yeah, it's literally Vivi Flirt's Eye Song but on whole another level. They actually put a lot of effort into making um, some few frames, those still frames. It looks so beautiful. And I'm pretty sure it's the same makeup team as Vivi Fleur's Eye Song or even Attack on Time, not very sure. But the makeup team for this particular movie did a marvelous job. There's no single flaws on the um, 
makeup, you know? And as for the special effects, this is one of my complaints as well. I mean, like, why in the world will they actually oversaturate it? The whole chemicals, not really chemicals, those particles, like, how far would you want to um, saturating the actual thing? Like, it really hurts my eyes sometimes when it shows, like, this is really bright. I understand this is a bubble or some sort of stuff, but it's just oversaturated to a point where it really feels... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys understand. But I'm not saying that the movie is bad whatsoever. It's probably just not my type of movie. But the animation was great. Everything was okay-ish. The story is um <laughs> the best 5 out of 10 if I'm the one that is rating it. But yeah, that's probably it. That's that's literally it. Thank you very much for watching this video. My overall rating for this movie will probably goes from... 7 out of 10 due to the story, the way they actually presented the story. Um, if it's for the animation, I will give it to um, 9 to 10 out of 10 because it was really great. But again, the story is very important for a movie, especially a Netflix original anime original movie. I mean, like, it's an original movie. There's no type of source whatsoever, so they really need to focus more on the story. But yeah, it is what it is. The story is 5 out of 10, if I'm being honest. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. It's not really with Studio's fault for giving this type of story. I mean, like, eh, it's, it's, it really quite disappoints me on how this movie actually turns out. I mean, like, it aesthetically, um, visually beautiful, but it's just, yeah, you guys understand. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Have you guys watched the movie? If yes, please do comment it down below. If you haven't, then go on and watch the movie. I will really recommend you guys if you like guys like those type of movie, I guess. Well, <laughs> thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.